What up guys? Today we are going to show you how to do some pressure washing, but I also want to show you what we got here. What do we got here? We have a goat. Can you buy me? Bye, bye. We also got a big old dog right here too, and he's gonna lick my camera. So we have this awesome rig here, and in this video, we're going to take and show you how we installed our line that goes from here into our reel into our tank and how we put the fitting um, you can't see it because it's all covered up but into to be able to hook our garden hose into the pressure washer and reel here and then at the very end of this video i will show you how we installed our drain line right here. And the reason why we install a drain line is a couple reasons. One, we don't wanna drive around with a whole lot of water and we can empty that tank. And two, we also do that so that way if you get chemicals, yes, we deal with chemicals in your eyeballs or on your skin, you can get it off of you. My daughter over there, playing with the goat. Again, that is reason why we want to install these two things. So before we go on any further, if you would like to learn more about pressure washing and stuff like that, I have a step-by-step -step course of how to do a pressure washing business. You can go check it out at pressurewashhelp.com or King of Pressure Washing. And there I have all the steps. In fact, one of the steps is, is building your own rig. And I teach you step-by-step -step of how to build a rig, reasons why we need to build a rig. And not only that, it is also the 26 steps to the perfect house wash. I give you all 26 steps to make sure that you do a perfect house wash every time and you do every step so that way you hit everything you need to do like marketing, like taking before and afters to cover your tail. And all of that is detailed in there so make sure you go check that out. So on our hose reel, I have a half inch MPT thread to three quarter inch hose. You can get the hose reels with the three quarters. They're hard to come by. But if you actually look at, this is a three quarter by three quarter, the interior of this hose is the same diameter all the way through. So it's all right that we can do this. It would be better to have a three quarter inch hose reel so that way we don't have no restrictions through here, but we don't. And so we're actually gonna install both of these. One thing I am gonna give you a, a mention about this um, screen right here. Sometimes it will get full and you don't know that it got full. Um, if it sits over winter time, they'll get white gunk in there and it will shut your water completely off. It will not flow water into your tank and this can be the issue. So you gotta take your hose off and see it. Sometimes I'll actually take this screen out and just put my O-ring in there so that way I don't have to worry about it. I do my filtering down through there so that way I'm filtering anything, but we do have to pay attention to that. So the first thing we need to do is, again, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna get some blue goo. I'm not multitaskable, they'll do both. We're gonna do blue goo on it. And again, we're not filling it all the way up and having so much blue goo that we have blue goo everywhere. The blue goo flu. We just need to get it on the beginning there. That's what your hands look yeah, like. Yeah, that's you what got... your hands will look like when you get it on you everywhere. I always use an adjustable for that. Next thing we're gonna do here, we're gonna tighten this up. Again, we're dealing with plastic and steel. So we don't have to get Hercules. Hercules, Hercules. We're gonna get it tight, but we're not gonna get it so tight that we cannot um, do anything. So we'll just get it here. We're gonna get it tight. So that's tight, but we're not gonna over tighten it. Over tightening it can be vetty, vetty bad. So that's good. Next piece, we'll do the garden fitting here. Again, we'll get it unscrewed here. Go back over here to my lovely assistant DJ, and he's gonna put me some true blue again on it. And again, you can use a rag to keep this stuff off of you, or you just wear it like DJ does. And before long, it gets on your face and everywhere. True Blue is amazing about getting everywhere. It is fun, but again, we want a nice coating of True Blue on there. I'm gonna have to find me a wrench, because I don't think. So I'm gonna go back in here and see if I can find me a wrench that will fit this here, um, instead of using an a adjustable wrench. Um, we'll go into here in the garage, my messy garage, and find me a wrench that will fit it. I would say it's probably, is it three quarter? 
Nope, three quarter. So we need to go up. See if seven sixteenths. Seven sixteenths is the right wrench. So the thing about using the proper wrenches is it does help with um, just keeping you from stripping things and and rounding things off. We don't want to round things off. Um, so again, we're going to start here. We're going to screw this bad boy in. Again, we're going to we don't we want to get at least one to two threads in um, because if we don't. What will happen is, is you can strip it, and now we have other issues. We don't want to strip things. Um, stripping is bad in all types of ways. So again, we're going to tighten this up. We're going to make some noise while we do it. Get it good and tight so it don't leak. We don't want no leakers. Leaking is bad. Again, we got it good and tight. And that is this part of it. We'll show the, also the garden hose and all of that here shortly in the next part of the video. You know what I mean, Vern? I know what you mean, Vern. You got adjustable or anything that'll fit that or? Um, oh, we yeah, got, we got these pair. channel locks right here. Cotton up. Go over here, get us some big old one inch hose. For that. Yeah, Heat her up a little bit, put a clamper on her, shove it on. You know, yeah, that, the yeah, the screwdriver or whatever. Let's see. Not hot enough. Lube it up a little bit, sit on it. Like we've done it a time or two or 20. So the next thing we'll do is the Joe Valve. The Joe Valve. 